I'm back on the AT. I went into uh, Newport, um, Tennessee. I resupplied. I got a lot of food from Walmart. So I will be uh, well stocked all the way past um, Hot Springs. I might grab a few more items there. But um, from Hot Springs to Irwin's kind of a dry spot for resupply. So um, I took advantage of Walmart. And today my goal is to do about 15 miles up and over Max Patch, which is a beautiful spot. Unfortunately, I got to do a lot of climbing today. Um, yesterday was an easy day with a lot of downhill. But um, yeah, the trail doesn't hike itself. So I got to get going. And um, it's about 30 miles to Hot Springs. So hopefully I can do that in two days. And I'll be, uh, I'll be on my way to um, Irwin in the next few days. So uh, yeah, let's go get uh, Max Patch done for today. So let's get going. max patch um, get a little bit more of a climb but it should be a pretty good views from the top um, today's been a struggle it was like I think by the time I'm done I'll be like five or six thousand feet of elevation gain today opposite from leaving the Smokies where it was like 6,000 feet of elevation loss. So definitely back in the mountains. Now I'm looking forward to hitting the, hitting the pillow this afternoon or this evening. So uh, yeah, let's get today finished. So today's been kind of tough, but it was uh, so actually my first like 15, 16 mile day. I kept it pretty slow for quite a while, so um, yeah, and I'm not completely sore, but I'm definitely ready for bed and some food. So uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to try for maybe even an 18 and just get into hot springs tomorrow and uh, <clears throat> get a good meal. And then it looks like we're going to get rain for the next couple days, so um, my choices are I can either try to avoid it and or just push through and try to get into Erwin. Um, it's getting crunch time so I'm getting kind of close to um, trail days and the closer I am the cheaper it is for me to get there. Uh, the cheapest form is of course walking in on trail days so um, for that to happen I gotta keep these 16s, 15 and 16 mile days consecutively but uh hopefully tomorrow i can do my first 18. i think uh the first um 10 or so miles is uh kind of just up and down and then after that it kind of uh starts to uh go down into hot springs so um i think i could pull it off i think the uh the uh, ascent versus descent is in my favor for tomorrow so We'll see.
So last night I stayed at Roaring Fork Shelter and I did about 15 and a half, almost 16 miles to get here. And um, yeah, it was a decent night stay. The shelter had a privy, bear cables, and picnic table. So it was actually uh, very well maintained compared to the Smokies. And um, today, hopefully I can get into Hot Springs. It's about 18 miles from here. If not, the bare minimum that I plan on doing is a 15 mile day to the last shelter before entering um, Hot Springs. But um, I'd really like to get in there, even if I have to do a little night hiking, so then I don't have to do it in the morning. And it would be my first 18 mile day. And like I said yesterday, I believe that the elevation is in my uh, favor for this uh, hike. So let's get going. Okay, take this jacket off, be bold, start cold. So, uh, yeah, let's get today going. So, I'm just chilling here, about to do um, the hike up to the last shelter. Hasn't been really been much to look at today. Uh, a lot of just forest, not much views. Um, so uh, I got about three miles up to the shelter and then depending on the time and how I feel I might push for the last three miles um, Three and a half miles to uh, hot springs may get there before tonight uh, the time right now is like right around uh, 430 so should we get up to the to the uh, shelter by like six at the latest I'm there by six and I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna push because it would be uh, mostly downhill, so. So I just made it to the shelter, as you can see. And I have 3.2 miles to Hot Springs. When I was at that last gap, uh, a shuttle driver from one of the hostels at Hot Springs was doing a, uh, a drop off. And I was like, hey, would you take my gear, my heavy gear back to town so that I can just fly through so I can actually make it to the restaurant before it closes? And he said, sure. So uh, right now I'm hauling just my backpack camera and the basic necessities so I'm pretty much slack packing and I am cruising I just did uh, three and a half miles in less than an hour so hopefully I can do that and I can get to town by 7 7 30 and maybe even catch a, uh, a good minnow so yeah let's get going Hey guys, so I did that six miles and I'm here before seven, or a little bit after seven. And uh, yeah, we're at uh, Hot Springs. Beautiful sign right there. Here's the parking lot for the, the AT at Hot Springs. And this coming up, uh, this this coming up is uh, Laughing Heart Hostel. Um, they have a bunk room, they got private rooms, and they got like tenting in their yard. And I think I'm gonna do the tenting. Uh, there's been some norovirus, so it'd be nice to keep to myself. But yeah, let's go get some steak and some food. So I took a zero at Laughing Heart Hostel, and it was awesome. Um, definitely needed it after the Smokies. My body's feeling so much better. And today I am heading out. I'm gonna do about eight miles. I have a real late start, but um, yeah, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then I gotta bust out some uh, bigger miles and the day is coming. It's about a 70-ish um, mile stretch from here, which is Hot Springs, where Laughing Hot Hostel is, to um, Irwin, Tennessee, where Uncle Johnny's Hostel is. And that's where I'll be going. I got a full resupply, and yeah, I'll be heading that way. So let's get today started.
Dollar General in Hot Springs. And this is exactly where I got my trail name, actually. And um, it's actually one of the reasons why I'm out here hiking and why I didn't start where I finished last time and to complete the AT. Um, one of the biggest things I deal with with dysautonomia is memory loss. It's one of the side effects that really affects me. Um, it's normally called brain fog. Um, for me, it affects me a little differently. And um, this is actually a memory I lost and I was hoping that just seeing it again would uh, bring it back. And um, it kind of did. It didn't bring it all the way back, but it brought some of it back. So that's why I'm hiking the AT from the start. I'm hoping to get back some of those memories that I've lost due to dysautonomia in the brain fog. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna sit here and uh, just take this in for a little bit and uh, be thankful that I'm able to remember a little bit of it. I just had my first snake encounter and it ran across me. Luckily it wasn't a rattlesnake. Whatever snake it was though, it scared the living bejesus out of me. Do you know what type of snake that is? Because I do not. Leave a, leave a comment in the um, comment section if you know what it is. Thanks. So I just came across this like really cool pond on my way up out of uh, Hot Springs and decided to take a break, sit and enjoy the water, even though it is kind of uh, swampy looking, but uh, plenty of frogs. So um, it was pretty cool, but uh, I am running extremely late. I did not leave uh, Hot Springs until about 2.33 and I was supposed to do 10 miles. So um, yeah, and I was thinking about um, Maybe stopping at the uh, first campsite, which is eight miles from Hot Springs, which I'm pretty close to. But uh, there's been a lot of bear activity there, so I think what my plans are is that it's clear blue skies. It's supposed to be like the hot mid 50s this uh, tonight. So I think I'm actually going to give night hiking a shot this time. The trails are pretty well maintained, so I don't have to worry about tripping anything. And I'm just going to bust out another four miles and. I'll make it to the shelter. So that's the game plan. A little night hiking, make up for my uh, laziness this morning. And then tomorrow I'll be uh, hopefully be able to crush some miles so that I can get to Irwin. So that's the game plan. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this, uh, this water and this view for a little bit. And then I'll be heading, heading out. miles away from camp or the shelter I'm about a half mile away from the tent site and uh, I'm going for it I'm gonna go for a night hike so uh, we'll see how far I go um, if I get up to the shelter and it looks pretty full I might just keep on going and look for a stealth spot um, there's a few that were on the gut hooks app that were about seven miles away so uh, be nice to bust out some miles and some cool weather and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful night. It's clear blue skies. And yesterday was like pretty much a full moon. So yeah, it should be a pretty decent night hiking. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning because the GoPro does not capture night vision or night 
night very well. So uh, see you guys in the morning. So last night I hiked for about three miles. Uh, came across a bear while doing so, um, night hiking. And then when I got to shelter, I thought I was like, got around here around like 1030. And I was like, oh, I gotta be quiet. And everybody's up, headlamps are everywhere. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, the bears were here. And uh, there was four of them, a mama with like three adolescents, not cubs, but a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, they were just all around all night, just playing with bear cans, trying to get the bear bags. It was just a, a very unrestful night. Um, the bear actually came um, right where, where I was, where I'm standing now, and I was in that shelter. So, not a uh, not a fun night. But uh, today's the game plan is to do about. 15.9 um, miles, 16 miles to uh, the next shelter, and I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. I'm gonna go over a big ball today, hopefully, or a, a bigger mountain. So, um, be nice to get that out of the way. So, yeah, that's the game plan. I'm exhausted. So, hopefully, tomorrow night or tonight I can get better sleep. So, all right, let's get going. So yeah, I didn't get too far today. Uh, I stopped for some trail magic and then a thunderstorm uh, came through. So I'm in my tent avoiding the rain and trying to stay dry. Um, hoping that my stakes stay in place and that this thing passes in a reasonable time. Uh, one of my stakes already came up and it was, uh, yeah, so I'm holding the trekking pole so I don't get drenched. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going very far today. I think after this, I'm just going to make camp and uh, chalk it up for a slow day after dealing with the bears for the night. So, I'm not sure if you can hear any of this, but it is coming down. So, uh, yesterday, I didn't make it very far and only did about four miles. Made it to a gap. I was exhausted from no sleep from uh, the bears, and then it started raining. And um, yeah, I just pitched my tent next to the trail magic and stayed. So today I'm having a late start, but uh, goal is to do at least 12 miles. Um, if I can, I'll go a little bit further. I gotta make up some time because of yesterday, but uh, I was definitely not feeling it. Lack of sleep, lack of food. Um, I didn't eat the night before because all the bears were there so I just hung my shit up and uh, yeah I think I learned my lesson next time I get to a campsite that has a bear activity when I arrive I'm just gonna keep on hiking so sleep is very important so today I should be going over big bald um, the weather doesn't look so good so um, there's a chance of uh, thunderstorms like it was yesterday 80% chance so I'm probably gonna get rained on again but uh hopefully I can make it to camp before that happens uh, today's total elevation gain is a little over 5,000 feet um, mostly uphill I think it's about 3,000 feet of descent so uh, today's gonna be a tough day but I will get through it so uh, yeah let's get going so i just made it a little bit of over a mile and a half and the cookie lady is a um an individual who has a log cabin right off the trail and she bakes homemade cookies for through hikers and um yeah she's uh she's a legend so i'm gonna go get me some cookies and then continue up on this climb i got about five miles to the top and then i uh, hopefully i'll be cruising for the for the remainder of this section, but I really, really hate this climb. So let's go get some cookies.
that was awesome those cookies definitely hit the spot and we got to speak to the uh, lady who um, who bakes them all for us and her husband and her are part of the members of the uh, ATC for uh, North Carolina and they do trail magic so these people are really amazing they're keeping the trail open and accessible for us through hikers and day hikers and section hikers so um, a big thank you for uh, everything that they do so time to get back on trail so I'm at the uh, shelter today and uh, we're just passing by this had a good lunch break and uh, about 7.3 miles to uh, Jerry Cabin uh, shelter so uh, that's where I'll most likely be staying there is one shelter a little bit further ahead of that which I might shoot for depending on how hard the next couple miles are so uh, yeah it's uh, been going pretty good um, the weather definitely seems to be getting better the Sun seems to be coming out so that's always a plus and that might change my plans so hopefully the weather stays nice for the next couple hours and I can make up some miles Let's get going. So I just hit 300 miles on my AT journey uh, northbound in 2023 and I'm at also a crossroads where I have to choose the exposed ridgeline trail or bad weather trail and uh, looks like it cleared up so I'm gonna do the exposed trail. Uh, last time I did it it was slippery and the rain came in so hopefully I can avoid that but uh, yeah there should be some good views coming up. Um, recently it's just been mostly walking in the woods so um, and the green tunnels definitely coming into full effect. I'm going to have to find something else to entertain you guys, other than just epic views. Yeah, uh, I just did the uh, 1.5 miles or 1.4 miles of the exposed uh, ridgeline trail and that thing was fun. Great views, all that stuff like that. And uh, there it is behind me. And uh, yeah, those views are gonna get harder and harder to come by as we progress so once the uh, green tunnel really kicks in. Um, won't be getting as many. So I'll have to find something else to keep you occupied. So. There was a 300 mark back there, now there's another one, so uh, I don't know. Either way, I walked 300 miles, so here's the next one. Whatever sign was right, all I know is it feels really good to know that I've done 300 miles. Um, I'm already, like, I haven't really lost a lot of weight, uh, right around like five or six pounds since I've started. But like my waistline's like shrunk like two, in, two, three inches already. It's crazy. Um, a lot of that I think is just muscle replacing fat and uh, fat disappearing around the mid waist. So hopefully this keeps on going that way and I'll be able to uh, uh, maybe get a six pack or something. Who knows? I doubt it though, just from hiking. It would be nice though, but I'm getting old so uh, I think that, that dream's long sailed, but it will be nice to have a, um, a fit cardiovascular system at least, and uh, some burly legs to get up more mountains when I get home so I can maybe uh, finish the uh, White Mountains, the 48, 
uh, 4,000 footers. So that would be kind of cool. And you got a 52 with view, which would be an awesome one to do as well. So um, I really want to get those lists done when I get back. So every day I'm out here, it's making those uh, future trips a little easier, hopefully. So, but uh, right now I'm about two miles from camp. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stop there. It's only 5.30 and uh, I really kind of want to go a little bit further. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get there and evaluate and then see what I can do because the sun doesn't go down until 8.30. So only two miles away. It puts me there around 6.30. That gives me two more hours of hiking and uh, be nice to get over another big mountain and not have to do it in the morning so uh yeah i'm gonna get back to hiking so last night i made it to uh, jerry's cabin shelter and um spent the night here um i decided not to push on because there was thunderstorms um, scheduled or predicted um, that night uh, they didn't hit until about six o'clock this morning and luckily I was in the shelter for those so all my gear stayed relatively dry um, but yeah they were some pretty good good thunderstorms um, the rest of the day is supposed to be kind of like cloudy and burning off the rest of this uh, cloud cover and then it's supposed to be pretty nice for the next couple days so hopefully I can get to Irwin um, I think I got like 40 something miles left of this 70 mile stretch before I get to Irwin and um, Yeah, honestly, I can't wait for it to be over. I want some town food already. So uh, yeah, let's get today going So yesterday I only did 10 miles and stayed at the Laurel Hostel, um, got a bunk um, and got some food. So this section is taking a lot longer than I would have liked. I think the uh, Smokies really wore me down. Um, that cold snap that came through, uh, cold weather's always set off my dysautonomia and it definitely set it off that time. Um, I broke out in hives about halfway through the Smokies, um, was extremely bloated and was also like having GI issues, lightheadedness, um, a headache that just didn't go away for days. So um, it is nice to be in warmer weather now, you know, that cold, cold snap's gone, but it really did slow me down and uh, my body's still recovering from that. So. Yeah, the bloating was so bad that it was hard to hard to get food down. Um, Claritin definitely seemed to help, but it didn't uh, prevent everything. Um, it did speed up the process of like getting over it. Um, in the past, it's taken a few uh, few weeks for that type of flare up to die down. And with Claritin, it was a couple. It was still about a week, but um, I'm doing better now and uh, not feeling as lightheaded, but uh, my body's definitely still uh, drained from that. So hopefully I can do some decent miles and get into uh, Uncle Johnny's, which is in Irwin, Tennessee, um, in the next two days. Um, but I'm just gonna listen to my body and go as far as I can. And um, I got enough food so that shouldn't be an issue but like i say it's uh it's definitely been a struggle um dealing with dysautonomia after that cold spell so. 
so but hey today is a new day and let's get going had some trail magic um, I only did eight point something miles yesterday to Sam's Gap got off and uh, stayed at a hostel got showered and cleaned up did some laundry and uh, now I got 24 miles to Irwin which I'm gonna break down into two days um, I'm looking to do it do a, a big mile day today and then hopefully do a uh, a uh, smaller mile day into Irwin, kind of take a Nero, uh, resupply, and then take off. My goal is to get to Station 19E, uh, which is 75 miles up the trail from me before trail days. That's my goal. Um, don't know if I'll make it, but I'm gonna try. And yeah, so today's a big day. Um, going up over Big Bald and Little Bald. Um, it's some of the bigger mountains that we got to do before uh, before the trail starts flattening out a little bit. But um, hopefully today is beautiful and we can get some good views up there. So let's get going. So I made it to the top of Big Bald. That was quite the climb, but uh, it was a beautiful day for it. Not much wind, uh, a little overcast so you're not dying in the sun. And uh, yeah, it was a good hike. A pretty hike, but challenging. And now I head off to do Little Bald. But the view is amazing up here. Uh, it's like one of the last 5,000 footers that I'm gonna hit for a while. Uh, one more is Roan Mountain, and then after that, it's uh it's lower elevation so should be able to do bigger miles then but check out this view Today's been a really good day. Um, haven't done many miles, but I got some trail magic a couple times, which is being very spoiled. But honestly, the amazing views, and then like in these low spots, just walking among all these wildflowers, just like a sea of white little flowers is amazing. I, I don't know. It's one of the coolest. I love this. That's all I can say. Like, this is amazing. Like, everybody should do this type deal like I don't know it's just something where you just come up over you're like these flowers have to stop and then you just come over the next hump and boom it just keeps on going and going and going and it just lifts the spirit I don't know at least it motivates me so heck springtime's definitely in full effect right now and if you're watching this um, hopefully you get out there and enjoy some of this so uh, you don't have to do big miles you don't have to do a big long trek you can just go out for a weekend or an overnight and uh, for me it's always been worth it so maybe give it a try uh, so last 
last night. <clears throat> I stayed at this stealth spot and I did about 13 miles to get here, a little over that. And today I have about 11 miles to get into Irwin and I'm gonna be happy that this section is over. Um, I've been going real slow, um, but I'm doing what my body needs. So I have no regrets in that. Uh, though I do wish that I could uh, have kept up with the pa faster pace that I was uh, maintaining earlier. But um, that will come with time. So right now I'm just uh, finishing up packing and about to get rolling and uh, should get some good views coming down into Irwin. And I think I might take the night there and get a hotel room and uh, recuperate, get all my YouTube stuff done. And uh, yeah, the next day I think I'm gonna roll out, try making it to station 19E, uh, which is about 50 miles up the trail. And I should be able to get that done before trail days and then hopefully hitch a ride from there to trail days in Damascus, Virginia. Um, I'll be about 100 miles short of my goal of walking into Damascus, but uh, I'm going to listen to my body and do what's right. So, yeah, so let's get today going. from uh, town and of course thunderstorm rolls in so now I'm drenched but uh, good news is I'm a mile from town so that's what I'm doing I'm fucking booking it so hopefully I don't get completely drenched or hit by lightning so as you can see storms coming I'm getting Uncle Johnny's so I will see you guys when I get down the trail Trails. 